This is a brief video on uh, compiling a table of authorities uh, for legal documents. Now, this is covered in the book, so I'm covering it in a video just in case it happens to end up on a test. So for legal documents um, where you're stating cases inside the document, you want to be able to create a table that represents all of the cases that were mentioned in this document. So once you've typed the whole thing in, of course, then uh, you simply uh, go down and you look for the locations, the references, all right? Um, so, and then you mark them uh, as a citation. So uh, I just picked a random document that has absolutely nothing to do with law and I typed in some, uh, some examples here. So here we've got the first one. So you start this process by selecting this and by simply going to mark citation. Now, uh, this is the long version and category is usually cases, but you can change it to something else if you wanted to. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it to cases for now. And you're going to want a short version of this so that it's going, to, it's going to appear in your table. This isn't going to fit in your table or your summary at the end. So I'm going to delete that long version and I'm simply, it's up to you to summarize now. But I, here I would probably just go uh, U.S. versus Smith, right? So that would be your short version. And when you're done, you simply mark it, right? Mark all only occurs if, if you were to have selected with your control key all of them, you can keep going down the list. Um, I don't find next citation works very well either because it doesn't necessarily identify them well. So uh, I realized that it, that's supposed to work, but I tried it, it didn't work that well. So I'm just going to go mark, all right, and then I'm going to close it and I'm going to manually find the next one, all right. So that's been marked it's there. And now you can come down here and look for the next one. So I know that I have, I have two more in here. Now, before I move on, I just want to point out that it left this uh, field here that you can see. The, and the only reason you can see it is because your show height is on. If you turn it off, you can't see it. So now I'm going to find the next one. And same thing. So just select, go to references, and we're going to mark citation. And once again, you want a short version. So we're going to delete or backspace all that stuff out. And then mark that one. And then close. And then I'm going to find my last one which is right here and I'm going to mark citation and once again I'm going to use a short version and mark it and close so you've gone through your document and you found all of the places where um, basically they're items that contain things like regulations cases statutes that you can list in a neat little table called a table of authorities uh, that would probably go at the end of your document. So I guess the next logical thing is how do you create this table of authorities? And I believe this is where it gets really simple. So you go to the end of your document, give yourself some room. And all you need to do, very similar to the bibliography if you watched that video. So now that you've created your citations, you simply go to insert table of authorities. And you have many, many choices and they don't really go through many of them for this uh, level of testing. So from here, uh, if you know they're all cases, you can ask for cases, but uh, if you're not sure, I would just be safe and hit all. And then um, you can change the formatting, I guess, right, um, to whatever you'd like to. Um, no need to do that at this point in time. And then really you just hit OK. And at the very bottom now, Oh, I wasn't at the bottom. So I'm going to hit undo. Very important to know where your insertion point is when you're doing these things. So I'm going to move my insertion point at the bottom. It's always good to make mistakes in these videos sometimes. So I'm going to insert table of authorities again with all and I'm just going to hit OK. And here we are. All right. So it tells us what the cases are. Short version. Uh, no, the long version actually. And then it also gives us the page number onto which it is. So there it is. Simple, easy, not sure if you're ever going to use it, but I needed to cover it.